my stove cooker just arrived. So what I'm working on right now is creating a drawer where this thing slots in perfectly. I've been living in my 1979 Mercedes camper for two years now. I love that van, but it was itching me to do my own conversion. Alone and without any experience, I sold my old van and started with my very own van build. So the way I'm building these drawers is actually quite simple. I have a 8mm thick uh, plywood, which is quite thick for the drawer bottoms, but um, that's what I ended up with. And then I have this really thick and heavy wood for the side pieces. And uh, the reason why I'm not using thinner wood is because I had these. Again, those were gifted to me from a, by a friend. I still have this lying around, so I'm going to use these for the drawers as well. Those will go on the sides like this. And that's basically, you know, a box, a drawer. And then I'm going to put some trim pieces around the edges to make a nice uh, drawer front. But that's something for the future. I think this one is the nicest. It's going to be my front. This is what's going to face outwards. And then um, I'm just screwing these, you know, this wood together. I pre-drilled some pocket holes here. Um, so that makes it really nice and simple to join. Hopefully. Now, the other. So there I've got the box, and then I'm just gonna flip it around like that. So now little screws. You know, screw them in like that. Very simple. And then a few more just to stabilize the whole floor piece. Alright. And that's it. This is the drawer. Beautiful. Just a box. I don't have enough paint, so that's why I just keep them... Um, vanilla wooden colored like that for the moment then I will probably paint them later And that's it. Those are the four drawers that go underneath the bed. And I'm currently faking the paint. You, as you can see, only the front is painted uh, all around in the back and the inside. It's not painted yet. I'm running out of paint and especially I'm running out of time. And this is why I'm just faking this. But yeah, they are huge. You can't really see that on the video. This is how big these drawers are. So that's quite a lot of storage underneath the bed. Um, as you can see, I made this really, really tiny uh, drawer up there and that's uh, basically just for small stuff that is much easier to organize, I think, uh, when I have smaller drawers and the other drawers are for this space. Um, really happy about the result. First time making drawers and those seem really sturdy, a little bit heavy, but that's because I'm using the reclaimed wood. It's getting dark here, so I will continue tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. So I already installed all of these drawers in there and this is what it looks like 
so far. It looks pretty terrible if you ask me. I mean, the drawers are fine. It's just, you know, the sides here. And I want to add some trim all around these edges so that it can all cover these um, up. So I think when I do that, it could actually look nice. Um, but they're functional, you know. Well, the handles are still missing. But yeah, you know, they go out and also go back in again, which is quite nice. Um, so now I'm doing the drawers for this. So I'm using these draw tracks here. Um, they're quite sturdy and heavy and not super cheap. That's something you should consider. They are the full length and they're also soft close, which is quite nice. So the way you're installing these is by first removing this inner part here. Let's see. So this is about 25 millimeters. So I'm going to go for half of that. 0.5, 25. Make sure that this side, and, well in my case this side, but the right side uh, points to the front. Put the tracks back together. I'm just extending these. I put in some beams here on the side so that I can attach the drawer. But um, the top one and the bottom one, they're a little bit longer than the other drawers, so I need to add some some more wood pieces. Uh, the first one's going to be complicated, but the, the, but the rest is hopefully going to be nice and easy. Oh. Yes, finally! Oh my god. Sorry the camera died, you couldn't see that, but that was such a fight to get that in. Oh my god. It only took like three hours or something to get one drawer in. But hopefully, let's just hope for the best that um, the rest of the drawers are going to be much easier. What I'm going to do now is add these dividers. So I'll, I'll put down the first divider, um, but I think I'm going to... Um, also put the top drawer in um, next so that I can see how much space I have for everything. Let's let's start this. Okay. Okay. You've seen this before. I screw this stuff on the on the drawer, and then I'll see you in a minute. So this is it, the last drawer. What? What? What did it? Do? What was that? What? What was that for? Ah, all right. But well, at least that fits. Quite a tight fit, to be honest. Ah, oh, I see. But you know what? Ah, oh, I'm fine with anything today. I'm just super happy that this is done. Oh my god! Drawers. Who would have thought that this would be so much hassle? I mean, I thought that making the drawers would be hard. Um, Turns out it wasn't. It was really easy and straightforward. And I thought installing them would be really easy because I bought these fancy drawer tracks. But guess what? That was a pain. Well, I mean, to be honest, I think it was a pain to install them because 
yeah, it was actually my fault. This thing here is not very... Yeah, I mean, really, they're not... No real right angles in there and uh, everything's a little bit wonky and stuff. Yeah, I think that's the real reason why this was so difficult. Uh, it was definitely the reason why it was so difficult underneath the bed. And here I actually was able to adjust a few things and then the rest was relatively okay, straightforward-ish. Um, but still, it took me like the whole day basically, to install these. So I built one drawer, no, I assembled one drawer today, and then the rest was just installing drawers. Just to give you an idea how long this stuff takes, but it's probably going to be much faster when you guys are doing it, because you are taking my advice and make all the right angles and make everything nice and straight so that everything fits right away. That would be my lesson for today. Correct measurements like millimeter or, or inch or whatever you're using, but just look at these millimeters or inches. They're important um, f if you want to make things fit. So yeah, it's the end of the day for me. So see you guys tomorrow.